Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tini, an Italian swimmer. And first of all, I just want to say thank you because I have received so many nice comments. My English, you know, is not perfect, but you have all been very kind and supportive and this means so much to me. Honestly, it feels amazing to have so many kind and lovely people around me and I'm really really happy thanks to the Sims community. I have met some truly special people and yes, I'm just so grateful for all of it and yes, so thank you, thank you so much. So today I'm here with a short tutorial on how to export animations from Blender because some of you asked me about it and I'm so happy to help. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this one and as always, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to answer your questions. Okay, let's start and let's open Blender. I will skip the part about making the animation. Let's just say you already have it because this video is only about how to export it in the right way. Like I said in another video, some of you got the typos in game and that happens when the animation isn't exported correctly. So let's fix that. I will show you how to export with the EA rig and also with the custom rig by Vixated. That is the one I always use for my animations. Let's start with the EA rig. I made this simple animation. I always recommend doing the baking before exporting, so make sure to do that first. To bake your animation, go to frame 0, press A on your keyboard to select everything, then click on Pause, Animation and Bake Action. After that, you will see your timeline with all the keyframes locked. That way, the animation you see in Blender is exactly what you will get in the game. Okay, now we are ready to export the animation. First, make sure the rig is selected. You can check that in the panel on the right. And if it's not selected, just click on it. Then go to File and choose Save a Copy. Pick a name for your animation and save the file. Keep it ready because I will show you how to import it into Sims 4 Studio in the next step. Now let's take a look at the Vixated rig. If you already use it, you probably know that this rig includes both the EA rig called Rig Female and some extra controls called Rig Plus. These extra controls really help during the animation process, so while working on the animation we only use the Rig Plus. So to keep things clean and simple, for example, I usually hide the Rig Female. When your animation is done, you need to transfer all the keyframes from Rig Plus to Rig Female. To do that, uh, we will use the baking process uh, just like we did before. So what I usually do is go to frame 0, hide the Rig Plus uh, and turn on the Rig Female. Then I press A to select everything and as you can see my timeline is empty. And that is not good because if I export it like this my theme will appear completely still. Now I can follow the same steps as before, so go to pose, animation and then big action. After a few seconds you will see that your timeline is no longer empty because all the keyframes are now baked. Like before, we can now save our file. Just remember to make sure the rig female is selected because this is really, really important. And then click on file and choose save a copy. We are finally ready to import our animations into the game. It's super easy, just open Sims 4 Studio and click on animation. Give your file a name because this is the one we will later move to the mods folder and then go to the clip tab and import the Blender files. Now we just need to open the game and test our animations. As you can see, everything works just fine, both animations play correctly and no typos or a pose problems. And it's always such a nice feeling when everything goes smoothly after all the work in Blender. 
So if this video helped you or simply enjoyed watching it, don't forget to follow me to stay updated on uh, upcoming tutorials. I have got more content coming and I'd love to keep sharing it with you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!